This video investigates the use of Toricam app as a markerless overlay system intraoperatively for Toric IOL axis alignment. This is a trial run on a previously recorded surgery. App is open and the phone is rotated so that the 0 180 marks on the limbus they coincide with the red line. The reading obtained is the cyclotorsion. Now because of cyclotorsion the app is not going to read off directly the values of the IOL placement and in order to do this we should convert the app reading to adjust for cyclotorsion. Sometimes the conversion is easy as in this figure the cyclotorsion is 12 and you just have to add the cyclotorsion value to the toric axis and the app reading will be the addition of the cyclotorsion and the axis. If the cyclotorsion is above 180, it doesn't matter where the toric axis is. The simple addition formula is going to work. If cyclotorsion is below 180 degree mark, then we have to calculate the difference between the cyclotorsion and 180 and utilize that number and reduce the toric axis by that figure so as to arrive at the final axis. This is also a scenario where the toric axis can dip below the 180 degree mark and in this situation even if we take the difference between 180 and cyclotorsion and try to subtract it from the toric axis value well, we arrive at a minus integer. So we have to add 180 to this minus integer to get the final axis which we can use on the app. Using various data sets I have formulated two rules where we take 180 minus cyclotorsion as x and if it is less than t the subtraction of the toric axis from the x value is done and if it is more than the toric axis you just have to add cyclotorsion to the toric axis. Highlighted green areas show the usable numbers and there is a simplified method to do this. So the workflow is step 1 180 minus the toric axis and then you add cyclotorsion to the step 1 value that if gives a plus value you can use this as the final value but if it's a minus value that you obtain you just add 180 and you will arrive at the final value which is the cyclotorsion adjusted value. Using simplified method on the same data set you can observe that the usable numbers are exactly the same. So the advantage here is that we don't have to work around rules less than, greater than, subtraction, addition. Instead of that we have a workflow which will work with any number. This patient's toric IOL axis is at 5. So the first step is to open the Toricam app after draping the patient and focus the app on the live surgical display inside the operation theater and ask your assistant to align the app to the 0 180 degree mark. In order to keep the microscope Purkinje images coaxial, we can also use a fixation ring but it is essential not to rotate the ring or induce cyclotorsion while using such ring device. Using gentle fixation maneuvers I realize that it is 177 cyclotorsion in this case. So going by the formula step 1 is T minus 180 then check the cyclotorsion from the Toricam app which was 177 add 177 and the minus 175 that gives a plus value of 2 which we can use on the Toricam app. If this value was minus we would have to add another 180 and that would be the final value which we would have to use on the app. After placing the IOL we again open the Toricam app and align the axis to just see whether the IOL holes are now aligned at 2 degrees. This is successful alignment. A fixation ring also might help because it would help us to understand whether the reflexes coming from the anterior and posterior IOL surfaces are exactly aligned but one has to be careful because it can also induce some cyclotorsion. So if the surgery is recorded in an upside down manner the question is whether the use of Toricam app will it change or will it change the calculation. 
so this surgery is upright recorded and the toolcam axis is aligned to the axis on the image and let's flip the image just to see what happens flipping the image upside down does not change the orientation of the axis it, there is another example this is 5 degrees and flipping does not change the orientation however if our recording is such that the nose is superiorly or inferiorly we have to flip the toricam axis by 90 degrees so if it is 127 we would have to align it at 37 and so on but it doesn't matter if the nose is superior or inferior because once you get that value 137 for 127 it will not change so in summary vertical flipping of the eye when we shift from operating to the right eye to the left eye it will not impact the formula but if the nose is getting recorded superiorly or inferiorly then the initial t that we use in the formula we have to alter it and we have to flip it by 90 if it is less than 90 we add 90 and if it is more than 90 degrees we have to subtract 90 and then we have to use these modified t values as the initial t value in the formula in summary toricam is a wonderful app which is free to download on ios it's designed by professor graham barrett and we can use it as an overlay system with the help of an assistant and a live surgical display to understand how our holes are aligned to a specific meridian that we want and uh, it might improve our accuracy for surgery thank you for your attention